When Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, walked into the London Stock Exchange as part of the Occupy movement, he was wearing this mask. The mask indeed has become a global symbol of protest, found in demonstrations right across the face of American, British, Australian and European cities. It nominally represents Guy Fawkes, himself a very unlikely revolutionary. Guy Fawkes in 1605 had tried to blow up the English Parliament, not because he was an anarchist, but rather because he wanted the return of the Catholic Church. Yet Guy Fawkes then went on to inspire a great novel in 1988 by Alan Moore and David Lloyd called V for Vendetta. In this sci-fi dystopian tale set in a kind of futuristic Britain, a battle is taking place between authoritarian fascist government, modelled loosely on Margaret Thatcher, and its anarchist libertarian opponents who look to Guy Fawkes as a symbol of resistance. This graphic novel by Moore and Lloyd was then remade as a Hollywood movie in 2006 with Natalie Portman, and it was here that the mask started to attain its notoriety. By 2008, it was being used by the hacker group Anonymous, and since then, it's proliferated to become the face of a whole host of anarchist, left-wing, anti-capitalist causes. It's been estimated by Ruby's costume company that 100,000 of these things are sold every year. And it's a funny symbol because it suggests both a collective affirmation, it creates a group identity, but it is built around anonymity. An irony of the mask is that many of the profits from these sales are going directly into the pocket of Warner Brothers.